Hello guys, this is Arthur. For those who know me, you probably know me as the educational streamer. And all this while I've been streaming one and a half years, okay, so-called educational stream. And I obviously hope that I live up to my name. And this is the first time I'm going to do a video, or you can call it an educational video, because I have never done this before. And apparently some of my viewers have been asking me to do. So today I finally found a topic that is worth talking, that is worth you know, uh, doing a video about it. And for those who don't know me, I'm a caster from Malaysia. I specific, specifically analyst, and I started my career last year in gig fam coaching gig fam, and then I turned into a full time streamer on Facebook, and then starting my uh, broadcasting career as well. So right today, I'm gonna do, I'm going to introduce you guys uh, some concept that I learned recently that I think is really good that. A lot of people might, might not have known so let's jump into the game um, to introduce you guys okay to to give you guys the outlook of this game I, I, I am the puck all right and then we have a storm for me a gyro carry an ember spirit post 4 and a KOTL 5 and our opponent is leech TB carry one spirit off lane necro force mid and shaker as the post 4 so what I'm going to share here today is something I will call basketball rotation okay it's just a concept i don't know how to name it so i name it from my experience i was a basketball player last time okay so let's dip into uh deeper and see what design what do i mean as basketball rotation um so this this moment is at 6 30 okay 6 minutes and 30 seconds i'm one i'm one trip away from level six and this is very important this is the whole communication and execution starts and the idea as well so my idea is I'm, this was the exact in-game in-game communication by the way just just for you guys to know uh, I'm calling my teammates to come bottom most spe specific specifically I want the Kotal and Storm to come bottom so they have to come down simultaneously okay they have to come down together right now right before I hit level 6 this is very important because why because uh, because TB is a good player he will know that I as a puck will try to coin him once I hit level 6 so to be able to outplay him, I we need to make a move once I hit six. Okay, so the, the one second I hit six, we need to make a move on him. This is why my teammates have to come uh one step earlier before I even hit six. And why is this play so important? I'll explain to you guys of first. So right here I'm one creep away from six and the creeps are pushing in. The creeps are coming and imagine if the storm and the quarter are here because the ember spirit are here already. It's here already. And I, I will get 6 from this wave And then BAM Once I hit level 6 I will call this guy under his tower He's sitting at 471 HP And instantly I hit 6 I call him My storm comes in My quarter comes in Why I want my quarter here Because of the blinding knight He could push the TB out of my coin And breaking the coin And then do extra damage And this guy is only sitting at 740, 7, uh, 471 damage uh, HP so obviously there's enough damage coming up, coming out from us to kill him, and most importantly, we need to do is do this as a surprise attack because good players like them they will know that yo this park is level six I need to get the hell up you know as a TB I can just farm jungle so we need to attack when he doesn't see this coming at all, and most importantly, why should we attack at this time because we have a siege creep right here, and all all of us know that siege creep is one of the strongest tool to push down towers so this is one timing that we can uh we can maximize you know we can exploit so what about the basketball rotation that i still say so imagine this okay i need you, i need you guys to try to imagine this because this is the play is not happening okay the storm will be coming bottom he doesn't have tp right now so he has to walk okay so imagine storm and quarter are here already we kill this guy we push this tower down with this uh siege creep and then Gyro, who is having a lot of trouble uh, dealing with Void Spirit plus the Shaker, can come bottom for a free lane. Okay, he can push down this wave, farm this two jungle, and okay, why can he do that? Because a TB is very will be very afraid of going out to his junk to his safe lane when this tower is down. Okay, so remember this quote: the enemy's safe lane is your safe lane after you've taken down their tier one tower very important and why is this so important we'll explain next time so imagine this okay 
Because Storm TP down, right? Uh, Storm walk down, so he does. He still has to TP after killing after killing the T the Terror Blade, so he can TP back to mid and defend this tower. Meanwhile, Gyro after we kill the TP, Gyro can come down, assisting us to take down the tower and then stay there and farm. So it would leave top vulnerable. So no one will be defending top, and this is where the puck comes. Okay, so puck after killing the TP, instantly you can TP top and defend this tower. So all of a sudden, I want you to imagine in, in, your, in your mind, okay? One, at this minute, okay, the puck is still bottom, he hit 6, he killed the TV, take the tower, and Gyro comes down to fill the gap, to fill this lane, to take over this safe lane as the Gyro safe lane. And then meanwhile, uh, puck can go top to defend this full HP tower, and storm TV back to mid. So all of a sudden, all three of the core switch lanes, you know, this is the, what I call a basketball rotation. And then we are able to what? So what are we able to achieve from this move? We take down this tower, we kill TB, we buy two to three minutes for Gyro to farm this lane, and meanwhile we defend top tower with Puck, we defend mid tower with Storm. So this is how this is how we can uh, slowly pull out a two to three k lead uh, with just one play, you know. So and this is what I call a basketball rotation. I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are able to learn something from this because I am very confident that this play would work especially in a 6k bracket like what we played in just now so I hope you guys enjoy